Hey folks, this is Russ Jones here, Principal Search Scientist at Moz, and I wanted to discuss today a common request of clients and of agencies with Keyword Explorer in particular, but also in general keyword research. And one of the questions that I would get a lot back when I was with Angular Marketing uh, doing consulting was the simple question of how difficult can a keyword be for my site to rank? You know, maybe my site can rank for keyword difficulty 30 keywords or 40 or 50 or 60. How do we figure that out? Well, it used to be a lot more difficult. You'd have to find all of your keywords and check the difficulty for each one of them individually. I think you could do some in bulk, but Keyword Explorer's lists make this so much easier. And I, I wanna demonstrate that right now for you just so you get an idea of how it's done. This is particularly useful for agencies who either have new clients or are considering new clients and want to be able to quote them an appropriate amount based on how difficult the particular industry might be. So let's go ahead and jump in. First, uh, the example I'm gonna use here is Angular Marketing's website. And what you'll do is uh, you'll go to your search console and you'll click on search analytics. Hopefully most of you are a little bit familiar with Google Webmaster Tools or Google, uh, Google Search Console. Um, and in it, what I'm going to do is select uh, CTR, position, impressions, and clicks. I'm going to get them all because I just want all the data. Uh, the next thing I'll do is just export the data. Easy enough. And I actually already have a copy opened up here. Now, if you notice, what I've done with all of the keywords for angular.marketing is filter them, and I, I set some particular filters in place. The first thing that I did was set impressions to be at least 10. Uh, the reason why I do this is sometimes the data in Google Webmaster Tools or Google Search Console will be biased towards uh, some amount of personalization. So for example, if you're logged in and you visited your site a lot, you might trigger an impression on a SERP that's just there because you visited your site a lot. We don't want that to show up. So I put a minimum of 10. You can feel that out depending on your particular uh, client or customer and the amount of traffic they get. The next thing I'll do is I'll set a filter on position. I'm going to assume that we always want to rank at least four or higher. Uh, so I choose less than or equal to four. You can do whatever you want here, though. Then I'll go ahead and copy all of these queries. And I will head over to uh, Google or to Moz Keyword Explorer. Now, hopefully some of you are familiar with Moz Keyword Explorer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process of creating a new list. So I would click on my keyword lists and I would choose create or upload a new list. I would name it and then I would copy and paste the keywords. Now I've actually already created a campaign for this just so that we can get the data back. So I'm going to cancel out of here and go to the list. So here's a list of all of those keywords. And what I can do is sort by difficulty. And I can choose what's the highest level difficulty keyword for which I rank and how much volume is there. So you'll notice that I actually have some rankings for hashtag, which is a pretty high difficulty. But that drops off immediately. And we're normally looking at keywords right in the 40 range, the low 40 range. In fact, I have a lot of keyword difficulties, 40s, 39s, 38s. So, Another thing I can do here is just export the CSV. And go ahead and I could do this with a histogram, which would be nice. Let's see how that goes. So uh, hopefully you'll have the data analysis in Excel done. But I'm going to go to data analysis. I'm going to choose histogram. The input range will be all of our difficulties. So I've got all the difficulties right here. There are 186. And then the bin range will be this 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 90 that I've done here. Hit OK. And there you go. You'll see from the keywords that we have, 
uh, most of the keywords fall under this 40 range. So there are a couple that are above it. But now we've got a really good idea that the maximum uh, keyword difficulty that Angular Marketing's website should try and go after would be uh, a, a 40 DA or a 40 keyword difficulty. Um, so now when we do our keyword research for this site, or if this were one of your customer sites, you'll be able to say, okay, let's just get rid of any keywords that are above a keyword difficulty of 40. And that way you'll more easily be able to uh, make sure you don't waste money on keywords that you just don't have the authority to rank for. Well, I, I hope this presentation has been helpful uh, and will make it easier for you in the future to find the best keywords. Thanks.